Hello everybody, welcome back to another week in Destiny 2. We are in week 3. So, let's us go speak with Riven, I guess. Uh, finding the eggs are kind of like what happened last year with Season of the Lost. Uh, it's interesting that the Awoken seasons have kind of been very similar. But, well, let's start. You've returned. Would that the Queen's witches had your punctuality, O oh, Warden Mine. The Tethyans have started work on the Lodestone, but they can't finish it without help. That was the rock I got last week. I would love to find amusement in their inadequacy. Make a meal of it. However, the task of helping those who can't help themselves has fallen on your shoulders again. Something of the Ahamkara in you, perhaps? The lodestone must be attuned to the confluence, like teaching a compass where north lies. I simply Just use the magnetic the field, I guess. For your sake. The calibration will take some time. Should I pray for you to make it out alive? Oh, I'm sure I'll make it out alive. Uh, if you want to read this, uh, go ahead and pause the video. Otherwise, I am going to accept. Where do we gotta go? Gotta the Starlight Lotion by completing pathways. So just do the seasonal thing. Got it. Okay. So, let's do some more coils. I'll keep one um one run through uh in the video and then if I have to do more uh I'll edit those out for you. But I do hope everyone is Having a great day, or a great night, depending on when you're watching. So, I'll see you guys when this starts. And hopefully, some new dialogue will happen. You want for so much, Guardian. It's salivating. Hmm, oh really? Do not tell the others. They will envy you. Sure. I guess it's me and one other person. Partners, you and I. Even if our partnership had its violent disagreements. You had so many dreams, and I knew how to weave them into the weapons you craved. Let's rekindle that little arrangement, shall we? I'm already here, after all. Slay my enemies. Protect my children. Give me peace, and I will forge a small measure of your brutality and greed into tools of death. I ask for nothing in return, but your dedication to our cause, and the pleasure of each broken enemy. Right. Go. Your prey awaits. No, I am dead. Never mind. Oh, not that way. There is a chest there. Oh, 
Alrighty, well that took a decent amount of runs. But let us go visit uh, the hollow projector and talk with Petra. I'll see you guys back at the helm. Wait, we are back and let us go talk with Petra on the hollow projector and hopefully we might get another conversation with someone else. I don't know. Hello, Petra. The Techians are in final preparations for the Lodestone. Already? Wow. Your work in its calibration was invaluable. It will serve as a beacon for the Queen to make contact with her personal harbinger. She'll commune with it. Ask it to guide the remainder of the clutch back to us. It's the last of its kind. And it's good to see a harbinger, normally a weapon of war, used for diplomacy. Even with Riven. Hmm. In the past, Interesting. the pinnacle of the Spine of Caris provided the open sky the Queen needed for this communion. It will suffice again. But the Taken can test that region, as they have since Riven's curse rang out. They will hinder your every step. So cut through them, secure the Spine, and the Queen will do the rest. So... So pretty much go in guns blazing. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, if you want to read this, go ahead and pause while I continue. Ah, the Oracle Engine. Fascinating. Also, I need to go claim or delete some uh, weapons from the post box. Because I did get a, a red border. Yep. And then the rest of these I can probably look at later. I don't see the mission on here. We come over here. Oh, is it in the Dreaming City? Yeah, because I don't see it here. Yep. There's thy mission. Sweet. What? Exciting story do we get? Communion with my Harbinger requires we access the highest point of the Spine of Karis. But Riven's curse remains. The curse brings new Taken to the region every cycle. So hunt them and our work can begin. Once the spine is secure, ah. the Techians can light a beacon for the Harbinger. I see. Oh, did they block the way again? How funny. When we first get here, they uh, block the way. And in this mission, they block the way again. Funny how things go full circle. Scorn, I'm just passing through. One more. Oh, hi, hi. Onward to the gate.
Mini Sparrow. And not for long. Goodbye. My tiny sparrow. Nope. Alright. Wait, are we going to the top of this spire? Like the very, very top? Or somewhere totally different? It's saying to go this way. Oh, hello. Good bad. What does it say? It's the top of the observatory. See what's different. No, I don't think I've, I've ever been up here. Oh, this looks like the place we were just in for the coil. Yes, my queen. Oh, hello. wasn't expecting that second over to be right there. Well struck. The observatory is secure. Sadia and the tech humans are now free to signal my harbinger. We'll use it to pull hey. the clutch within our reach. Ooh. The harbingers once aided the awoken against the likes hey. of the taken king. But your actions today shall allow a harbinger to aid in diplomacy. For perhaps the first time. Even if it is with an enemy of the state. Just the same. All things are handled here, Guardian, thanks to you. I need your strength elsewhere. Okay, so do we get to see? Complete the mission. End the... I didn't even pay attention. In Enthymem? In Enthymem? Hello, I know. In... Enthymem? In the I don't even know. Inthemim. Inthemim. I'm gonna call it that. Oh shoot, come on. No, not that button. Helm. Whatever the name Inthemim I don't even know. The next egg should be coming into range. Mara's seeing to the Harbinger. We'll cover you on this one. Alright, let's go, Garrod. Another egg! Well, we'll see how this goes. Me and my sniper. Skip. And I'm still leveling up my sniper. Oh, it's already level 20. Ooh, I like that one. But subsistence is a little bit better. Alright, this. 
Guardian, I'm seeing a lot of scorn activity ahead. I doubt they understand what it is we're after, but they'll get in our way all the same. Oh, that's fine. Such callousness toward your creations. I suppose they have a new master now. Hmm. I say, can Pro control the scorn? I wonder. Because when he was older, and yes. It never occurred to me until now, like, to be honest. Fascinating. Do you remember how you brought me to the Dreaming City for the first time? I remember. You sought a gift for your sister. Something that could delight and surprise her. Let's stay focused. Boop. And skadoosh. Away we go. What's this? Is it? Stay sharp, Guardian. Well, I mean, not necessarily. Even that was more like, why is it there? Does it give me a power up or something? Or it's just there for aesthetic. I don't even know. You guys are burning and yet all right Now it's time for those guys, but... Ah, I see. Next area. These scorn can't be getting fresh orders from the witness. What are they up to? Poisoning every corner of the dreaming city they can reach. Perhaps they resemble their creator. Oh, aimless yearn. I yearn for you to stop talking. <laughs> Okay, I'm concerned on where these plates are. I don't see one. Like in this area. Might just be in the next. Yeah, there's one. There's two. No, there was, uh, yeah, three. No, not poison.
Hmm, how fitting. The head of the snake. Are they after the egg? Pinchy, you'll have to put this one down as well. I something really don't like whenever these guys get in front of me. You've done the witnesses' bidding before. Why not again? Kill my friends to bring on the final shape? No thanks. A wish to end suffering. You made such a wish once, and brought about so much death. You know that wasn't what I wanted. You should have been more careful with your words. Enough! It's done! The Queen is waiting. Eh, I mean, it's just like a genie. You have to be careful with your words. You know, I think I said it a, a while ago. If you say, you know, oh, I wish for a million bucks. Bucks are technically, you know, deer with the antlers, I think. I don't know. I'm not a hunter. But... No pun intended on that, too, because of the hunters in here. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, you know, you're going to get a million bucks, but if you specify, I guess, you know, oh, a million United States currency, then there you go. I don't know. Who are we watching talk? Oh, Mar and Crow. Well, hi, guys. I heard you over the comm channels. I am sorry that we are forced to entreat with Riven. She and I have our own histories to navigate, but what she did to you, how she wormed her way into your mind, uh. that was inexcusable. It pains me to put you through this. Even after all that's happened, you still think I need to be protected? No, that is not. It's all right, Mara. I understand. We've always shared a connection. Even when you were lost in the Ascendant Plane, I could still feel your presence. Your heartbeat. I knew you weren't truly gone. Riven was only able to manipulate me because of how strong our connection was. Is. I've made choices I'm not proud of. But I'll never apologize for the reason I made them. It's the same reason you reach out even now when, when you see me struggling. You're my sister. Nothing can break that bond. Not death, not Riven. 
Not even the light. Like Aga and Rega, finding each other in the storm. <laughs> yeah, well... We have the scepter. All that we've been through. That's no fable. We stood together as the world collapsed around us. And we'll stand together again. I have a feeling that Crow might sac sacrifice himself. Or, what if, for Riven's bargain, that Crow has to perish? I don't know. I don't think we're going to have Crow in the final shape. If you think about it, we don't see him throughout the, uh, the things that they've shown. Well, let's listen to the audio. Is it going to be Riven? Is it going to be like Shax again? I have no idea. Oh, we're actually talking to someone. Never mind, no message yet. Oh, oh Cyrus, buddy! I'm afraid progress is slow. Of course. The veil is a clever we got six months. in and of itself. It reforms as the consciousnesses connected to it ebb and flow. They rush in, awash with dreams and wonder, and then drain away. I believe that once I understood the veil, mechanically, once I understood Strand, that I would see its patterns with new clarity. That has not happened. This is not like charting a course through the currents of a sea or the depths of space. It is an architecture defined by how we intend to imagine it. Not dissimilar to the Ascended Plane. But it's more like its opposite. The Ascended Plane mirrors aspects of our world, aspects of will and import, to those who traverse it. Those aspects are decided upon through <laughs> our actions. The Veil, conversely, weaves not with our will, not our decisions, but with intent, unfiltered by logic. What we feel, not what we decide. Mapping such a thing would be like rebuilding a creature from the calcified remains we found aboard the pyramid ships. They are an image of a dissection, a deadened echo of existence. But to look at them as they are, to see their disparate parts, even understanding their anatomy does not give us the knowledge to make them as they were. I will continue to seek the path the witness forged into the Traveler. But I am no longer confident that it could ever be walked again. Riven may be our only option. Yikes. Hey, right, if you want to read this, go ahead and pause. I'm going to accept it now. And is that it? Speak of Riven. All right. What you want, spirit? What you want, huh? Huh? There you get so close. No, cool. So many wish to be closer with their family. The absent and the estranged cause rifts in a person's psyche. I hear them even now. Let me speak to my father again, one last time. Let my daughter see me for who I am. One of the stranger human impulses, don't you find? Above all, Ahamkara want to feed, to drink deep of the gulf between desire and reality. Other Ahamkara are competitors for limited resources, not allies. The only exception is a mate. Sometimes we reach beyond ourselves. Perhaps if we stood by one another more, we'd have survived the great hunt. If we were a little more human. But that bargain is not within our nature. 
creatures to make. Interesting. Wait. So are you just going to have one of the eggs and then get rid of the rest? Or keep them hibernated? Or something? It's interesting that... So the Ahamkara don't like each other because they have to compete. Alright, well, now for the audio. Osiris, are you on this channel? I am. Quite frequently these days. How may I assist the Queen's wrath? A personal matter. I was hoping you could tell me about your experience with Strand. How it's affected you. Strictly research, but it is fascinating. We know you've learned to wield it. Oh. I told you this. <laughs> Mara. Uh, the rumors are true. Though I am still only a pigment of my former self. That's understandable. That's cool. But your worth was never seated in the light. It's in your mind. I imagine I'm not unlike one of your Techians, then. If I'm not mistaken, the Queen mentioned you trained as one yourself. A long time ago, without much success. Though my sister, Pinar, excelled in her training, she was the pride of Amethyst. I was not. But even with that power, she couldn't stop the House of Wolves from raising our home. I joined the Corsair shortly after, to hunt the wolves down. Loss as a way of shaping us all. And true. clouding us. I yeah, thought the also decisions true. I was making were the ones required of me. A kind of honor-bound reaction to pressure. I burned bridges across the reef on my hunt. Without Mara, I'd be an outcast. Now, seeing the new coven, having their respect, their trust, I can do more than just react. Maybe I can tap into that training for something progressive, as something other than a Techian, for the benefit of our people. I've learned that failure is not a lacking within us. It is a sign that we were not ready to face the challenge we chose at the time. We must fall to start again, Petra. But as long as we persist, hope remains. Potential remains. Perhaps you're ready now. I can see why Mara values your perspective. Thank you, Osiris. Well, it's interesting because, you know, how Osiris was saying, you gotta have some downs to go up, which is kind of ironic since he's a phoenix, or he dresses up as a phoenix. So, yeah. Well, that was week three. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's getting very interesting with the story. What the? What's that? Oh, up there. That freaked me out. Alright, we'll catch you guys next time. Take care and have a good day or a good night. I'm gonna go delete some stuff.